Hi, I'm Aaron from howtosing.com and I want to talk to you about vocal exercises. Um, I want to give you some great vocal exercises, some that I think are, are, are some of the better ones out there. Um, but first I just want to talk to you for a second about the benefit of vocal exercises. Um, as you may know, your voice or your voice box, all, all everything that makes up your voice that produces sound is made up primarily of muscle, cart cartilage as well. But um, because it's muscle, um, and a lot of people ask me, can anybody learn how to sing? And my my thought is always, well, just like building up a muscle at a gym, you can build the muscle in muscles in, in your voice box and you can have better coordination and better pitch and, and all that stuff. As you develop the muscles through, through vocal exercises, you strengthen the muscles and then um, they're obviously they're not as weak when you're, when you're all that those muscles are weak and your cords are weak that's when pitch you, you miss pitches and you break and you crack and, and all that stuff and you don't have a very high range all that is because um, the, the lack of coordination because your muscles are not strong so that's a big benefit of, of uh, vocal exercises so um, better pitch help increase your range and another one is smooth out those breaks you may have heard of what's called the mixed voice or some people call it the blended voice or some people just call it the mix um, but basically what that is you um, you have two primary registers you have your chest register and head register that's true for guys and girls and then there's your falsetto and whistle but I'm not getting into that as far as the the mixed voice goes it's basically a mix of your your head voice oh, and your chest voice oh it's having a nice blend between the two of those your mix um, having a good mixed voice is when you have a clean smooth from like ooh, see smooth all the way from chest to head and back down so it's one big blended voice and that's what vocal exercises will help you do and one of the exercises I give you today is actually um, good for helping develop your mix and help smoothing out those um, those breaks so that'll be good um, there are two types of vocal exercises sort of I mean really there's like a, there's the warm-up exercises um, which is the first one I'm going to give you, warm-up exercise. And a good warm-up exercise, you know, you just need to do one, two, three, you know, maybe a full regimen of them, but at least the first one or first couple should be a good, like, just getting your voice kind of warmed up kind of thing. And a good closed mouth exercise is a good one to start with. This is the just the hmm. Um, oh, and the, well, let me just tell you, the other kind of exercise is basically the ones that expand your range, strengthen, you know, develop mix and all that stuff. So those are more strengthening. You don't want to just start right off the bat with those kind of things and do a lot of stuff in your head voice and higher. You don't want to put a lot of strain in your voice at first. Uh, when you first wake up in the morning, you kind of just want more like a hmm, you know, just something just to get your vocal cords moving and then um, go into hmm, hmm. And then once you get kind of comfortable with that, maybe even like, hmm, you know, start working a little bit up into the, hmm, a little bit up into that, that head voice there, but um, mostly just the, hmm, just to get started. Um, so that's a good one to start out with. The next one is, um, is a, a, a pharyngeal, what they call a pharyngeal. Uh, you get that, because eh, your pharynx is down here, larynx and pharynx actually. Eng, ng, the ng. So um, this one is a, a pharyngeal slide. So this is the actual one that, um, this slide is the one that can help you expand your range, smooth out breaks, and help you develop your mix. So you got the hmm exercise, and this one is um, do like an ng kind of sound. It's kind of kind of ugly sound, but it actually is good for for helping your vocal cords to connect. Um, just as a side note, but the benefit of this one is um, that sound that that kind of sound helps your vocal cords to connect. A lot of times, what happens is when you go um, from your chest voice and trying to get into your head voice, a lot of people have difficulty getting into their head voice many people, I would almost say most people, have difficulty getting into the head voice without going mm, like ah, 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 into the their falsetto. And what happens in falsetto is your chords kind of break apart and that sound you're getting just comes from just the edges. Um, the edges are catching the, the air flow and the sound as it comes through. So in order to keep that from happening, you want to keep your vocal cords together and, and get into your head voice. That's how you expand your range, but that's a different video. Um, is this kind of brassy ng, this pharyngeal kind of thing? So, uh, uh, call it the pharyngeal slide. Just whatever's comfortable for you. Start in like a mid range. Uh, 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 and notice I'm going from my chest voice to my head voice. There's no no breaking. It just uh, uh, that 
pharyngeal kind of helps keep your cords together. Um, so, so that's that. Those are two great exercises for you. Vocal exercises are really vitally important for the serious singer. If you want to be serious, you really need to be vocalizing daily, doing your vocal exercises daily. Um, I, my website is howtosing.com. Uh, I've got a ton of other tips and tricks and articles and all that stuff for the voice. And I actually just put up a, a video on how to sing. It's a 10 minute video on specifically how to sing high notes. Great exercises, some great, really some tips that the pros use of how to sing high notes without strain, which is the real, the real key to singing high notes. So um, check that out, howtosing.com or just click the link below and I'll take you there. But um, that's it for now.